There's a reckoning coming this weekend. 100 years seems a fitting time to account for the massacre of hundreds of Arkansans on the Delta farmland of Phillips County in 1919. And while a memorial goes up there, that accounting will take place across the whole state. We actually don't know how bad it gets. Uh, estimates of the dead range from 15 upward to over 800. It was the largest mass terror lynching in the United States history. One of the things that we have to understand when we look at Elaine is that it was really part of a larger narrative that historians refer to as Red Summer. Black soldiers come back from World War I. They believe that they are citizens now that they've participated on behalf of the country. And they find themselves being cheated once again by plantation owners. Instead of getting upset and leaving, or fighting, they decide to sue them. However, uh, the plantation owners get wind of this, put spies into the planta into the, their union, and these spies report back to them. They decide to intimidate uh, the black sharecroppers into break losing their lawsuit or dropping their lawsuit, and they send armed men out to uh, Hoopsburg Church where the, the union members are meeting a gunfight ensues. Since the state, since the local governments were controlled by the plantation owners and the elites, and they have first-hand knowledge, like I said, of the idea that this is totally fabricated. Uh, however, the state government doesn't. The state government gets telegraphs that white men are being attacked and that there's a revolution afoot, and that they call out to the Secretary of War who gets the president to assign 500 troops, including uh, machine gun units. Companies are sent out to suppress the revolution, the supposed revolution. The massacre died down only because the harvest arrived. Dozens of black men ended up under arrest. Years later, they would be exonerated by the U.S. Supreme Court. This becomes really the first major victory for the NAACP um, and the first real blow against lynching in America. Um, the men are released, uh, but they, they aren't uh, totally exonerated of, of their, their given time served and released that way. But despite that victory, violence remains a plague to this day. Jim Crow stayed in place for decades, and there are still echoes of what happened in our modern world. All the more reason to retell the story now and in the future. Because we have struggled to talk about Elaine and what happened in Phillips County, I think there's often, um, there's still healing that needs to take place. Uh, racial healing that needs to take place between, of course, that community in Phillips County, but also um, in the state in understanding and recognizing the story of African Americans, the story of Arkansas. So I think it's one of those things that it will um, keep coming back to haunt us um, because we've never learned that lesson of history. Ultimately, it's the remembering and the telling of those stories that will allow it to live on and truly be the memorial to the victims of Elaine that they deserve.